All right, guys, Zach Striffle here, manager of the Ohio Aviators. We are currently in the beautiful Bermuda, um, but as you can see behind us, it is a bit windy. Uh, we're fighting off Hurricane Epsilon right now. Thank goodness, though, that I have Tian with me because he's going to protect me because he said so before, right? He said yes, you guys heard it. Um, but guys, thank you so much uh, for tuning in for these past few interviews. We've been having a great time with it. I hope you guys are getting a good understanding of the guys and, and the type of character that we've brought down here. Very excited for them to get them to start playing, watch them play. Very excited to have them represent the Ohio Aviators and very excited that you are following us and you're liking us and you're retweeting and sharing and buying some gear and watching us from home. Because without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do this. We wouldn't be able to live in this paradise that we are right now. Um, so, guest on, as you can see, I already introduced him as my protector. Mr. Tian Lutz. Tian, what's happening, brother? Yeah, it's good to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, excited. Yeah. Very excited to have you on. Uh -huh. Look at that, million dollar smile. Um, guys, so I just met Tian recently on this trip. I heard many things about you from Taylor, Coach Taylor Howden. Yeah, good stuff. Mainly bad stuff, but I guess there's some redeeming things. Your mustache, for one. I like that. Uh, but yeah, I was watched Tian uh, play last year in the MLR. Fantastic talent. I'm um, very excited when I saw that your name was on the sheet because I did get a chance to watch you play a little bit last year. Um, but, you know, I'm not terribly familiar about the gentleman, but I'm very excited to hear everything about you. Like shoe size, where you're from, from the you know, how, what kind of product you use in your hair, and your mustache grease, because it looks great. <laughs> but um, if you can kind of give the give people back home a better idea of of who's on their team and uh, you know where you're from, where you played at, you know what brought you to this point. So originally I was uh, born in Cape Town and I've uh, been living there since I was 18. And then I went to university um, for three years and that's when I moved to the UK um, for six years where I played in Wales and then I played for the Dragons for each season. And that's when I came over to the um, Houston Saber Cats. Last year was your first year in MLR. Yeah, I came over in November last year. Cool. And then you were playing in Wales for Dragons? Yeah, so I, I was with the Dragons for a year, but I lived there for six years. Uh, two years in Cardiff and four years in North Wales. Nice. It's very cold winter. Was it? Yeah. Not very, uh, it's a different uh, cold up there, isn't it? I've not experienced the cold up there, so... Yeah. I'm in Milwaukee at the minute, so I'll, when I get back now, it's... They told me it's starting to get cold, so... Yeah, you definitely get hit with some cold. Yeah, I've, I've got no winter clothes. Um, my auntie bought me some, so hopefully it will help. Because <laughs> in Houston, we didn't need it. No. No, it was very hot. So. Yeah, you need AC in Houston. Yeah, Milwaukee, you need North Face, bro. <laughs> I yeah. got two jackets. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully your auntie keeps you, keeps you warm. But um, coming over to the U.S., uh, you know, what did you know about the MLR? What did you know about rugby in America? Anything about it? Um, so I watched a little bit of the, the when it started, the pro, yep. pro series. I watched some of the games on Facebook um, and I knew it started up. But then a player I played with at, um, in Wales came over to say we got to Charlie Connolly mm -hmm. and he tried to get me over there so I decided to come. Um, so far it's been a really good experience. And, uh, I really liked playing um, in Vegas especially. It was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an experience. Yeah, the turf is weird though. Yeah, I had a lot, I had a lot of um, fresh burns and stuff. Yeah, um, but otherwise it was good. Um, I didn't get to play in all the cities I wanted to. But yeah. yeah, that happens. Such is life, you know. You don't can't get everything you want. Yeah. We had a lot of home games. Yeah, so, yeah you guys have a fantastic, great, great stadium, stadium down there. Yeah. One of the best. I think. Yeah, I definitely say the tops. Yeah. Um, so coming over here, and like you said, you know, you heard about uh, rugby in the U.S. Watching that first. Uh, professional rugby organization tournament, you know, on Facebook. You know, looking fast forwarding it now, we've got game. You know, the the MLR is getting ESPN, getting CBS airtime. You know, do you see, you know, coming from professional experience playing over in Europe, do you see the game's growth and how you know where it's going to take off? Or yes, uh, definitely this year that I've experienced, I because I watched some of the games the last season, and mm -hmm. um, it's already a lot better. Um, I had, especially um, my parents had the opportunity to watch me as well down here and my yeah. dad really enjoyed it. He says that it's it's, it's a fast growing sport and that's very good for America I feel like. And I think in the next couple of years it will be even bigger. Did you come from a rugby family? Yeah, my dad's very big in rugby. Yeah. Or most of my family. There's the big rivalry in South Africa with 
the Blue Bulls and the Western Bronze, and some of my family on the Blue Bulls side and some on the Western Bronze side, so it's always been... You get to go both sides, depending yeah, on yeah. what reunion I'm you're Western at. I'm Western Bronze as well, and then my sister is a player, she played side for the Bulls. Oh really? Yeah, Scrum Up. Sick. She played in 2006 for a few years and then she did ACR and stuff. Oh. I hope she gets. Uh, oh, no, she's fine. Now. Is she fine now? She plays tag rugby for the South African tag team now. That's cool. Yeah, like flag rugby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tag rugby is a good. It's difficult. There's a lot of different rules to it. Yeah, it's not like our normal things. touch. Yeah, yeah. I think it helps with um, tapping though, because she has to get low to get the tags. Yeah. yeah it's not like touch all the time. So you just touch wherever. Yeah. There you go. You guys. That's the next one coming to us. Tag rugby. That's the way to go. T's got to run us through it. Um, but. <clears throat> so fast forward, you, you played with Taylor, our coach in Houston last year. Yeah. And and Taylor was, you know, a pivotal member of that, that, that twenty sixteen comp that Ohio Aviators team. Um, when you got notified that hey, you were gonna have the opportunity to put that Ohio Aviator shirt on, had you heard anything about the team beforehand? Um, I knew about the Ohio Pro team but I've n I didn't know the Aviators logo and all yeah. that and stuff. But when Taylor rang me about it, I was pretty excited. Because yeah. um, we didn't get much game time this, this year, only five games. So being able to play again and come to Bermuda. Yeah, yeah. not a bad deal, right? Yeah, as soon as he told me about it, I was like, definitely, I mean, yeah. just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I'll be there, no matter what, I'm there. Um, so what have you been doing, you know, with, with COVID and quarantine and everything? What have you been doing, you know, when you got that phone call from Taylor to prepare yourself for the tournament? So I was, I'm based in Milwaukee at the minute. Um, I've just been training there with my cousin, going to the gym, yeah. uh, doing his running on the track on the track, like go running and then there's a few of my stars keep doing some uh, fitness stuff, but that's about it. Nice. There you um, go. I'm not looking forward to how the day after the tournament. Yeah, the day after is always the worst. First contact, yeah. yeah, we haven't played since when, March? Yeah, true. Yeah. So we'll be a little bit banged up, but I trust you'll be alright. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. Let's uh, let's get let's get some questions in here. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Uh, the other guys. <laughs> like I knew we were bros beforehand. Now I know we're meant to be together. I love that movie. I love the characters as well. So. They're fantastic. Yeah, it's fun. Wolf Girl. God, he's so good. I don't think he could do anything wrong. Uh, favorite TV show? Uh, South Park. I like South Park. Uh, favorite book or thing to read? I don't really read, but sports magazines. Okay. What sports magazine? Uh, SA Rugby Live. Uh, Fair? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, favorite musical artist or favorite? Uh, so I recently, uh, in lockdown, I was reading all of Malakai and Style, and he, uh, he introduced me to Slightly Stupid. So your Steve is unreal. Yeah, I love that. I like that. I like that you love them. Yeah, it's a good I actually love that you love them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, are you listen to any podcasts? Are you a podcast guy? The Rugby Pod, Andy Good and Jim Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, right on. The yeah, they go all good, don't they? All right, bro. <clears throat> Ready for some this is or that? We got some help on these ones. Okay. Family shout out. I'll tell you in a minute. Hey, you probably figure it out though. Castle Lager or Lion Lager? Awesome. When putting on your boots, do you start with your right or your left? Uh, left. I'm left handed, so <laughs> I need to play. <laughs> uh, favorite type of South African beef jerky, biltong or drawers? Drovers. Can't pick between it. Okay, cool. It's You have to have both. You have to have both together. They're both delicious. Definitely. Says Tian. Better South Park character, Eric Cartman or Randy Marsh? Mom. Who's a better cook? Your mom Janet or your Uncle Don? <laughs> My mother. <laughs> That's the right answer every time. Sorry, Uncle Don. No, sorry. <laughs> what would you rather eat? Your dad's bra or your mom's stew? Bra. Budgies or board shorts? I don't wear either. I've got budgies. I don't you don't wear budgies or board shorts? I wear the... What are you going to water with? Board shorts, the ones over the knee. Isn't it? Board shorts are just like shorts. Swim shorts. Swim shorts. I wear swim shorts. You wear budgies. And budgies. You wear budgies. budgies. Yeah. That's a better name. That's a, yeah. I'm telling you what to say. Uh, who do you like watching more as a kid? The Stormers or Western Province? Western Province. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Sparletta cream soda or Fanata orange? Fanata or Fanta? Fanta orange. Fanta. 
hope that's okay. Okay. <clears throat> of your favorite rugby players when you were a kid, who would you rather play alongside? Chester Williams or Devet Barry? Devet Barry. You could hit. <laughs> big hits. <laughs> you like, could we expect some big hits from the kid this week? Yes. I like that. I haven't had contact in a while, so. Oh, just itching yeah. for it, huh? Looking forward to it. Right on. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Zach and Tian, again, like I said, thank you again so much for your support. Thank you for liking our pages, following us, resharing, retweeting, friending these guys on Instagram, doing cool stuff like that. Make sure you guys check out our store. We do have merchandise that is up. Buy some stuff, look cool like Tian. Get a mustache out if you can. If you can't, we're there for you in support. Uh, we've got games coming up, so make sure you guys are checking the stream. We'll be posting uh, scores, live updates, where the matches are being played. Uh, hopefully, if you guys know some friends and want to get a big group together, let us know. We can maybe get a shout out for you on our Instagram. That'd be great. Become famous, like Tion. But again, thank you so much, Tion. Is there anything you want to say to the fans? Um, just enjoy the tournament. I'm sure it will be fun. So it'll be a good watch. Right on. All right, guys. Thanks for seeing you next time.